What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. Guys, uh, just a small call to action right at the start of the video. If you like my content or if you've been watching my channel for a while, uh, you know, please like leave a comment down below or, uh, you know, like this video as well. Subscribe to the channel because this really does help the channel grow. And uh, like one of my main goals with this channel is to help as many people as possible, you know, inspire as many people as possible to actually take the next step. You know, there's so many people that are unhappy with their life. There's so many people that, uh, you know, that, that are in a job that they don't really like. And like, you know, they're getting orders from like a boss and they're not really, you know, they're dreading the work, they're not really uh, happy with what they're doing, they're waking up, you know, depressed and stuff like that. And I just want to show like as many people as possible that life doesn't have to necessarily be like that. You know, life uh, can be so much more, there's so much potential out there, there's so many possibilities out there, especially with the internet now, you know, with social media, you know, the possibilities are literally endless so uh, you know if you've been watching the channel for a while or if you like my message anything like that subscribe leave a comment and like this video because it really does help the channel grow anyway back to like the actual video what i was going to uh, explain to you guys today um i think it was like two three videos ago i had like a day in the life video of just like me being you know me doing um me working on the business doing social media marketing and stuff like that and i accidentally said to a, a potential client um, I, you know, shall I send you a proposal? And on the video, I already explained that that was a bad move from my end. And, you know, as expected, I did not hear back from that client. Now, um, you know, this can be seen as a failure, but for me that, you know, I just see that as a learning curve. It's a moment for me to, to realize that what I've done was, um, you know, a mistake and that I don't need to be, you know, I shouldn't be doing that anymore in the near future. And why a proposal is wrong is because basically you're giving them the power to decide, um, you know, am I going to reply to this? Am I going to go, you know, I'm going to push forward with this? Yeah or no. And what you're best doing is, um, you know, getting the close on the call. So I had that call. And I, I, it's laziness as well as fear. I said to the client, uh, shall I send you a proposal? And but by, by saying that, like the call didn't end in a close and they've got like a longer period of time to decide whether they want to use my services yet or no. And what you're best doing rather than the uh, proposal is negotiating terms of agreement. And I've got this from a Dan Lock video. Um, if I can find it again, it's like it was part of a playlist, but if I can find it, uh, I'll link it below as well so you can actually watch like the original video. Um, but basically it explains about terms of agreement. So rather than send a proposal, like negotiate terms of agreement. So when you've got a client on the phone and when, when uh, you get to the point where either um, the client mentions a proposal or you feel like you're gonna like say, you know, shall I send a proposal? Rather than doing that, like let's say for example, the client says, okay, can you send me a proposal? Or can you send me like uh, something that's, that says what you're gonna do? Uh, immediately ask them, okay, what would you like to see? And if you like what you see, then are we gonna do business together? You know, does my service fit in your budget? By doing that, by sort of getting them to, to commit to working together, then from there you can actually write up instead of writing like writing a proposal, um, giving you the term, giving them the terms of agreement to saying okay, um, you know now that we're working together, uh, I am going to be doing this, 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 and this. And another thing, what is really important as well is rather than um, like leaving that the the close, like leaving the payment part to a later date, is getting the payment on the call as well. And I know that is. Um, it's a bit scary like obviously you don't want to I, when you just get starting out um, you feel like you don't want to push too much on that first call and you feel very salesy doing this but trust me like this is the way it goes this is normal it's normal to get the payments up front it's the way social media marketers digital marketers online agencies do business is you get the payments up front and you know from there you know you, you start the work the reason for it is obviously because you don't want to be like a month down the line and you haven't been paid for the work you've done and then like you know the next month starts and you haven't been paid for the first month you know that'll just give you a lot of stress and it basically you'll be spending a lot of time mentally on the business and that is what you don't want so what you do is you get the payments up front you explain to the client that you've got software costs you've got um you know you've got staff costs um, if even even if you don't use outsourcers, even if you haven't got a team, just explain that you've got staff costs, software costs, blah blah blah, and that is why you require the payments up front. And if, you know, once you've done that, you can you can also you, can, you know what you can also say to them 
Um, let's is another Dan Lock phrase, by the way. Let's get the payments out of the way first, and then we can focus on what's important. So let me say that again. Let's get the payments out of the way first, and then we can focus on what's important. Now that will sort of like pre-frame the client to, to make the, like, make them realize that the payments isn't really important. The results for the client that is what is important. So they think, okay, yeah, let's get the payment out of the way first. I'll pay. Then that's done, and then we can both focus on, you know, uh, this is in the eyes of the agency, uh, the client will be thinking, okay, well then we can both focus on me, and that is what you want from the client. You want them to pay up front, you know, without a proposal, without anything like that. If they want to sort of negotiate or if they want something on paper, then give them a terms of agreement. But try not to send proposals anymore because. Uh, like seven out of ten times they won't even reply to you and the remaining like three times like out of the three times like two of the times they'll say no and like it's just so much better and so much easier to close the clients on the phone because like I said in like a few videos ago that is when they're sort of like emotionally involved and because you're talking to the client because you know you've got them on the phone you can hear the voice it's really hard for them to say no if they're interested in your service Anyway, guys, I hope you got some out of it. Like I said, I'll leave the original video of the Dan Lock um, playlist uh, down below. Like this video if you got some out of it. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.